Okay, we're going to have a little video here on how to uh, determine whether your alternator is bad or not by using a multimeter. First thing you want to do is turn the multimeter on. Got uh, 20 DC on here. Put your, uh, your negative to your negative, your positive to your positive. And then you've got a reading right here of 12.71, and uh, which is fine. That doesn't really tell you anything about your alternator because your car is not running. <clears throat> now, if you start your car and this remains 12.71, I'm not sure how well you can see that. There you go. If this remains 12.71, then you've got an issue. It means your alternator is not charging the system. So here's what should happen. Start the car. You can see that the car started at 14.56. Uh, if this were a bad alternator, it would not go up. It would either go down or stay the same. Uh, eventually it would go down. But initially it may stay the same at 12.5, but uh, it, it, it would eventually go down uh, because it's not going to be charging the system. So if you're not getting at least 14, 14 and a half volts with your car started and you've got a fully charged battery, chances are that your alternator is bad or going bad. So. And that's a real simple way to test it. You can see it charged up just a bit. It's a little higher than it was actually. So um, again, pretty simple to use. You can get a, uh, a digital monometer. You can get them from Harbor Freight for, you know, 20 bucks. Um, this one is about 120. Uh, it's an ideal. I need a little bit more accurate reading for the work that I do. And you can go, you know, sky's the limit, $1,000 for these. But uh, I'd pick a cheap one up, Harbor Freight. You can test. Uh, your outlets, all kinds of things, and uh, worth the investment. Thanks again for watching. Please feel free to uh, rate, comment, subscribe, suggestions, uh, video requests, and uh, as always, thanks again.